Hi, my name is Milorad Kavik. My friends and family, they all know me as Milo or Mike. Uh, I grew up in Southern California and swam at Irvine Novas as a child and um, a lot of what I did uh, at, at my clinic kind of had to do with, with what I had growing up and um, you know being, being at my club team uh, we were exposed to quite a few Olympic champions um, you know and, and quite a few uh, very successful athletes who had come and spoken to us while, while I was a kid and um, my uh, my first exposure to someone of that level was Pablo Morales. He he was uh, it was an Olympic gold medalist in 1992, and, and for someone like that to come talk to me when I was eight or nine years old, it, it was a pretty big deal. Um, you know, the way swimming has kind of changed uh, nowadays is has a lot to do with how how this generation has changed. You know, when we when we talk to kids. Nowadays, a lot of it has to do with, with uh, them having some ownership and, and buying in. It's not so much me telling you what, but first leading with why. Um, uh, a lot like Simon Sinek would talk about, you know, the power of why. I, I also choose to lead with why. If I if I can convince you of the why, then then the what will be easy. Just because if you believe in the why, then everything that you've got to do to 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 reach that goal. It's, it's just understood. Now, and that's only under the condition that you truly want whatever it is that you say that you want. So, you know, for me, I always lead with, uh, with opening and telling, you know, the kids that, uh, and the clinic and camp goers that, you know, believe it or not, there was a time when I was your height. Uh, there was a time when I was your age. And there was a time when I was literally sitting where you're sitting and, and hearing uh, the wisdom and experiences and, and, and really advice of, of people that have done things uh, that I wanted to achieve in the future. Um, you know, through, through my clinics and camps, I, I've always, you know, I always work with children as, as little as six years old. And you kind of think like, well, what can, what can a six year old uh, exactly take away from a clinic uh, at this level? And, you know, the truth is they're there to have fun. And, uh, and, and really it's my belief that, you know, the most successful people in the world are those that don't see their jobs as, 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 as work, but is something that they do to have fun. Now, it was because of the great coaches that I had that made swimming fun for me and, and made me see it through a lens where, you know, we can do a lot of hard work and we can do things that would otherwise not be so much fun. But if we turn it into a game and make it fun for them, they're going to want to be better at it. They're going to want to excel. And if you turn these small games uh, into a bunch of little games throughout the course of one season and you do it every single day, it's incredible what you could accomplish. And uh, I, think, I think the most brilliant coaches out there are the ones that get you to do something without you consciously knowing that you're actually working on that. Um, you know, for, for parents and people of my generation and older, we think back, uh, you know, to, to Karate Kid, you know, when he was uh, wax oning and wax offing, he was in turn learning how to block or to deflect shots. And, and he didn't know it at the moment until the time came when he had to actually use that skill. Similarly in swimming, I, I, I like to get them to do things um, in, through games to, to kind of achieve the goal that I want to achieve and, and really, um, a large part of my process is, is first connecting with them, uh, telling them that I was like them, that I had great dreams, and, uh, and that if they, if they truly want to achieve that, then it's completely possible, but only if they really want it. Um, at the end of the day, not all of us can be uh, Olympic athletes. Not all of us can be great swimmers for that matter, but you know, I encourage them to, to love the sport the way I love it, uh, to show them the, the ways I was able to fall in love with the sport. And at the end of the day, if they choose to do something else, I, I hope that they take the message from, from, from my lessons. And, and really the greatest one is to really love what you do, enjoy what you do, and be great at what you do, whatever it, whatever it be. Where we go, Mike? Where we go, Mike? Where we go, Mike? Where we go, Mike?